So what are we doing today? So this is the uh, REI Half Dome 2. It's an older tent that we have. Uh, today when I was actually looking at different tents online, I saw a review where a person said that the measurement that it claimed to be was not what it really was. So knowing that this one is actually a good width, it claims to be 52 inches wide. So I wanted to actually set it up and see what the setup width of the tent actually is before I look at other lighter weight tents that might be of interest. So we're going to set up both our tents and see what the real true measurements are because we're definitely considering buying a third tent and we'll discuss the reason why later. So this is the Half Dome, Half Dome 2 by REI that we used when we were backpacking at Mora Flats. We have the video that we'll link below. Um, we really like this tent, except for the weight. When we bought it for our Grand Canyon backpacking trip um, at the end of 2013, this was a really great lightweight tent, but it's actually over five pounds. And ultralight tenting has come a long way. So, hmm. Claims to be 52, but the only way I can get 52 is if I have Robin on the other side and pull and stretch and get seam to seam, then I guess you'd get 52, but there's no way that in a zipped up configuration. So, you're gonna be up that high here. So, I mean, your, your seam's six inches off the floor. So I'm gonna guess that usable space, this is only about 42 to 43 actual width. If you go all the way down here to the corners and you get 52 out. Yeah, that must be what they're measuring. But... Well, that's seam to seam. And I agree, seam to seam, but I mean, your walls come up. Yeah, there's no tie downs for that center section, so you're really pushing it a little bit to say 50 in the middle. 52? 52 in the middle. Nowhere's close. Now, so it's good to know because this actually works for us, this width. So this width being about, okay, I'm gonna say on the ground, I don't know. Well, I thought it was a perfect size for us when we were backpacking. Why don't you turn that off? And here is our newest tent that we bought before Ron did his backpacking up to Lake Catherine and it Santa well, Fe Baldy. very well for that. It worked well for it, but it it's supposed to be a two-person tent, and he found it was pretty tight even just as a one-person tent with his gear inside. So, he's... Yeah, and obviously this isn't a freestanding tent. It does need to be staked in order to get it where it needs to go. But it claims to be a... Uh, what was it? 52 and a half. 52 at the head and 42 at the feet. Uh, I've already measured it before I, earlier and basically it's 48 across the front and 38 across the rear. Yeah, the, the big problem with this one 
really is this back section. It narrows down and the height drops so much that you don't get much storage Come space. Come here. Come here. Please. I'm coming. It claims to be at 52. And if you go stake to stake, it's 52. If you go actual wall to wall, it's 48. And that's being generous with the measurement. So probably a little bit less than that, 48 on this end. And so about four inches less on width on both ends than what it claims. But what does this one weigh? This one weighs less than three pounds. It's awesome. Yeah, um, the, the weight on this one's amazing, but... Definitely less than three pounds. It... Uh, so it worked well for me on at my Lake Catherine and, and Santa Fe Baldy because I was by myself. And uh, we actually like to keep the gear in the tent as opposed to under the vestibule. So it worked well to have my gear in the tent, but if you had another person in there, gear would have to come out. And that's just the way we like to hike is have our stuff in the tent so the critters aren't messing with it. Yeah, so this one just seems to be just a little too small. So we're gonna have to find something in between for hikes that we both do for backpacking. And the other thing with this having the front entry, single entry on the end here, um, it's a little different to get in and out of. If there were two people getting in, you'd be tripping over each other. Whereas the, uh, the yeah. other, the REI tent that I had up earlier, double doors, so you can get out without stepping over anybody quite easily. So what we'll probably look for is something uh, that has two doors and probably, I mean, actually the size of the other one works quite well for us. We'd just like to get it about a pound and a half, two pounds lighter. Yeah, we'd like to get a lighter version of the other one. But this works fine for Ron going as a single. So any trips he does where I'm not going, he'll probably use this one. Okay. So here's the REI tent all cinched up, packed, and ready to go in a, in a pack. The big Agnes, you can see, huge difference in size. So this is what we've hiked with for a while. This one's uh, five pounds, 10 ounces. Moved over to this one. This one's two pounds, 10 ounces. So big savings right there, three pounds right off the top without anything else. But. So the Big Agnes tent was too small for us, and the REI Half Dome was too heavy. We really enjoyed the Half Dome when we've used it. Uh, our last trip to Mora Flats, it worked out perfectly for two people. It was enough room for us to sleep and have gear inside. So we really do want something in similar size. The Big Agnes Fly Creek UL2 is just a little too cramped for two people. So we're really looking for something in between. If you have recommendations, please leave them in the comments. We have a few months left before we'll be back out backpacking again. Um, so we'd love to hear from you your ideas before we buy. And if you got anything out of this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more. And like I always say, get out there and hug a tree.